Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm kidnapping DoorDash, man, from Tampa. You yeah, know, that's a really friendly looking guy right there. Was it was it a glider eye? The 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 victim was a glider? I think it was a sister because she called her family and her family came to the scene. So Damn man, Ooh. they got your coob. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is the um this is the this is this is the this is the iPhone one right here, man. <laughs> this is the original edition, man. Of kidnapping no, they... and raping a DoorDash driver at gunpoint last week, now once out of jail. Joseph Killens faces several charges after police say he sexually assaulted the victim during a late night delivery. And now Killens is asking a Tampa judge to release His him. His name on... is Killens. <laughs> God damn it. Late night well, delivery. You know, you know now Killens is, is get, asking a Tampa way, judge to get a fair trial. He blended in with the Late door, man. He's a predator. And now Killens is asking a Tampa judge to release him on bond. Fox this guy's right. asking the judge to release him on bond. Think about the, body. the chat said an alternate universe mossy. <laughs> <laughs> well, the Tampa DA is the one uh, DeSantis replaced, the one that was woke and George Soros and, and, and didn't want to charge crimes. So... Hopefully, he uh, speaks up. Yeah, but he's asking the judge to, to, to I'm telling you, I promise you, I'm going to start dropping, like, um, 2020, like, this day in 2020, since we're coming around the anniversary of Floyd, I'm going to start dropping old live streams I did in 1920, I mean, night in 2020, on this date. So, like, you can see what the world was like on this date in 2020. And I promise you, man, nobody would ask the judge for a fucking bond after they kidnapped the door dasher, took her to another scene, raped her, and then when her family, who had her um, location on her phone, followed her from her location on her phone, came to the scene, shot at the family, and wounded one of them. That guy in 2020, 2019, 2018, doesn't even have the temerity, the gall, <laughs> to ask the fucking judge for <laughs> fucking law. Well, before, no way- before Floyd, before Floyd, man, kidnapping is life, right? Kidnapping is a life sentence. <laughs> After it's going to be like depends on it depends on what stage time you're served. Yeah, yeah. yeah like I didn't even find you until late 2021. A- yeah, Tampa judge to release him on bond. Fox 13's Gloria Gomez joins us live from the Hillsborough County Courthouse. Gloria, what did the judge decide? You know, the judge decided that he will remain in jail without bond until he has his formal bond hearing. Killens, good morning. Tampa Judge Catherine Catlin will soon decide whether Joseph Killens will be released from jail. Prosecutors say they will fight it. They will argue Killens is a danger to the community. And she will have to fight this judge. Oh, Lord. Glider woman with the with Captain Marvel haircut. That, that That's dangerous. Back in the days, the prosecutor never had to fight. To, like, that's crazy. That's crazy. Yeah. It's just, it's just a whole new world. This trial, Judge Catlin, however, wasting no time setting strict conditions if he is released at some point. In the interim, sir, you are to have no contact with this victim or any. Oh, she's a tough guy. She's listen, man. She's fucking you got tough. An ankle monitor, Buster. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this is where we're at. It's a clown world, man. Right. You are to have no contact with this victim or any of the witnesses, and that may seem unnecessary since you'll be incarcerated, but that no contact includes telephone calls from the jail. It includes you reaching out to somebody else to try and make contact with the victim or any of the witnesses. No contact whatsoever, and I will see you Wednesday at 2. They say the night of April 18th, Killens kidnapped and raped a DoorDash driver after she stopped to make a delivery. They say at gunpoint, he forced the victim to drive to an apartment complex where he sexually assaulted her. Detectives say 
What might have saved her life was the fact she had her ear pods on and was talking to her girlfriend at the moment Killens approached her. They say the girlfriend was able to call for help. The victim's family also tracked her phone and rescued her at the apartment complex. Detectives say Killen then fired his gun, hitting a family member related to the victim's girlfriend and took off. That victim is expected to survive her injuries. But detectives say Killen's crime spree wasn't over. The next day, he attacked another woman at an apartment complex and stole her backpack. He's expected to be back in court to face those. <laughs> <laughs> and he's asking, and he asking for bail to get to get released. This shit, this is crazy, man. And it's a, and and it's not just an open and shut case. It's like a a fucking argument. We got to fucking fight to keep this guy. In jail. Well, I mean, and also, got, also what, I, what are the odds this guy had? Uh, it, looking at him, you think he had a couple of other cases before this? You think possibly, or is this his first I, one? He suddenly turned bad. Hey, I, I vote to hang him up uh, by meat hooks that are hooked into his uh, pelvis area, you know? Uh, I guarantee they have him on tape and everything, like showing like like him um, snatching an old girl up and everything. He's still going to beat this shit. Yeah, and you couldn't just give Sun Man as a description for this guy. I mean, he's the only extraterrestrial-looking Sun Man probably in 100 miles, so. <laughs> this is insane, man. I mean, like, this is where we're at now. I mean, this guy, it, listen, tonight he's in his cell talking, or he's probably down at the county or whatever, and he's in there, and he's t and everybody's talking about their cases and whatnot. And he's probably like, man, I, man, I hope I get out. When he has hope. He's not like, right. he, it's over. He's in there like, man. Hope on Wednesday, man. I get off. I get out on Wednesday, man. I'm gonna hit up, you know what I'm saying? But Shirley and tell Shirley, man. Give me some head, man. I'm trying to get some head from Shirley when I get out. Man. Man, you, you know, he's in there praying to God, act like he's turning Muslim and shit. And he, he thinks there's a chance because there is a chance. I mean, there's yeah. a chance he might get up. Especially now, right now, the temperature is very good. Fortunately, down. there he is. He's not thinking about the time. I wonder if they actually collected a rape kit from the sister or if she just uh, uh, got uh, cleaned up beforehand. I don't know, don't know if it was a sister. It could have been a glider. It could have been a tiger. Just a door dress driver as far as we know. They, uh, yeah, back in on, no, the, they didn't call police. They had family show up to, to help. That That's that's son. Uh, yeah, that's true. That's, that's, true. that's what I thought, man. The family came to the scene, man. That was... The, the family did that is an interesting Con context. That was a context clip. Yeah, <laughs> Not because she had um, she had a, she had a, um earpods in her ears. It was um her girl and she was on the phone. Mm. Yeah, <laughs> while she was working. <laughs> Not That's examining this case too. closely. <laughs> That's why she didn't see him though, because the girl the other day said you can't you can't have your earpods in, man, on the street, man, because you know they advise that they advise that like around sons. You know, no, don't have your ear pods in because it's, yeah, it's, but she was one of the smart ones going to college. Yeah, but you got to take it away. As long as you have, if, if you have one in your ear, you're good. If you have both of them in your yeah, ear, one. Yeah, so you can have one listening to the world. Don't have both of them. You got both of them. Bitch. You asking for it? That's like what it means. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you asking for the sun man to to rape you? <laughs> I don't know. If they're listening to your He's podcast, to Don, they might be more vigilant. Yeah. He's expected to be back in court to face those charges as well. Now, the bond hearing is set for this Wednesday at 2 o'clock. Prosecutors will fight to keep him locked up. We, of course, will uh, be there uh. and let you know how it all plays out. Back to you. All right. Gloria Gomez reporting tonight in Tampa. Gloria, thanks. And in China, keep him up. authorities have upheld the death sentence for an American citizen detained for more than a decade. Tonight, his mother pleads for the U.S. State Department to work to set him free. We begin our coverage with News Nation's Marky Martin, who's following the latest details on the detention of Mark Swedan in China. She joins us now from Texas. Marky. 
Elizabeth, there are 54 Americans wrongfully detained overseas across 16 different countries. And the lesser known story is that there is one American who has been held longer than any other. His name is Mark Swedan, and he's been sitting in a Chinese prison for nearly 11 years. And he is the only. And listen, American let me tell you, man.